taking being a father seriously. I've said this in videos before. I ain't said this in a while, but I said this in videos before. Your actions today determine your child's future. So, or, or your actions today determine your child's tomorrow. Yeah. So basically, what you're doing today, yeah, what you're doing in the moment or whatever, yeah, is going to determine how your the lifestyle that your child lives. Yeah. So if you want to fuck around, yeah. And work an average job and just be an average square or whatever in it, yeah. Then your child is gonna lead an average life. Yeah. If you bust your ass and you wanna, yeah, do be an extraordinary person or whatever, yeah, then your child is more than likely gonna live an extraordinary life. Or at least if you put in work and put in effort, right, your child can get a great education. Yeah. The parents that set off mediocrity and that, they don't send their child to private school, they don't give their child a good education. Again, private school is not the be and end all, but they don't even get their child a tutor. Yeah? Because children are lacking, 99% of children are lacking in some areas. Yeah? So their parents should be, okay, cool. You're good at maths, but your English is sloppy. Vice versa. We need to get you a tutor, so we bring that up to here, rather than, yeah, we don't want you to be a maths whiz, but you're fucking, you're dumb, yeah, you, you, you can't even write your name or nothing like that. No, we want, yeah, you want high grades in across all subjects, yeah, we don't just want one strong point, yeah. There's parents that can't afford, there's parents out here, they can't afford to get their children private tuition and that, because yeah? when their child was conceived or whatever, and even during their child growing up, they, they weren't taking their child's education, their child's life seriously. They didn't give a fuck. Yeah? They didn't give a fuck. There's parents out here, right? They could be presented with the option to either buy a brand new car, oh, no, like Mercedes C63, yeah? Or send their child to private school or private get private tuition and just drive a fucking Ford or Honda Civic like me. Yeah. Those parents yeah, will pick the car. I'm telling you, 100, 100 percent. Yeah, because they don't get to experience their child's education. They get to experience driving that car. Yeah. Changing gears. Yeah. Going from 0 to 60 and this, yeah. People turning their heads, people rating them. Oh, I like that car. People begging conversation with them in the street. They don't get to experience their child going and, 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 and getting educated and stuff like that. They can't see it. These people have short-term thinking. That's what I mean. If you truly are the type of person who would prioritize their child and know, say, that you are not number one no more, you won't, you, you won't care about it. You will care about the car, but you're like, you know what? My child is a priority. But my child isn't a priority. That's why I'm driving this flashy car. Yeah. There's parents out here, they could get rid of that flashy car and invest some of that money into private tuition, but they don't want to because they don't care. I, I don't give a fuck what any parents have to say. Yeah. Oh, my child's all right. Yeah. They're doing good enough in school. Well, they could do better. Yeah. See that car you got out the front? Yeah. Why don't you get rid of that and drive a mediocre car so your child can do better? No, no, no. They're all right. This is the mentality of people. This is the mentality of people. A man could have 40 grand in his account, cash. Yeah. He's thinking about buying a car, yeah, with that that um that cash. Yeah. Someone calls him up and says, Listen, yeah, we can private, we can privately educate your child, yeah, for the next for, throughout the entire school life, from year seven to year eleven, yeah. Give you a good scenario here. A man could have 40 grand in his account, yeah? And he could get a phone call from someone. It's genuine. It's not a ripoff. It's not a scam, yeah? We can educate your child for 40 grand for the next five years they're in school. Seven, eight, nine, ten, year 11, yeah? Five years in school, yeah? They could potentially go on to... In their class, they'll be rubbing shoulders with that kid who's going to become the next Prime Minister of the UK, yeah? There's certain parents, yeah, that will have in their mind, fuck, 
it would be good for my child to go to private school. But I really want that car, you know. You know what that parent will do? I'll think about it and I'll call you back. They'll put down the phone, they'll mentally delete that person's number. Yeah? They will erase that conversation from their mind. Yeah? And they'll go out and buy that car. Yeah? And then they'll, you, you know, someone else might be aware of that conversation or, or something like that. Yeah. Or the people that get in touch with them. Yeah. Yeah. The people who call them get in touch with them. Yeah. Months later. Oh, so have you had a thought about it? Because I didn't hear a response from you. I didn't get a call back. Oh, you know, things came up and now, you know, I had some stuff to do with it. I ain't really got the money at the moment or whatever. Yeah. They would never admit yeah, that they chose to buy the car. Really, yeah. Now, that is a situation that would never occur, but that this is the mindset that these people have. Yeah, that they, no one would ever be presented with a situation where you got 40 grand and you could either send your child to private school. Someone's called you up and given you an amazing deal to send your child to private school, but you'd rather go on and buy a car. But this is the type of mindset that people have. This is the type of mindset where they would rather go on and spend their money on a car rather than educate their children because their children aren't the priority. Yeah, they, they love their kids, they have love for their kids, but it's more of an, like a bonding way. They don't care about their children long-term like that. They don't care about their children long-term. 